weekly, your doorway to staying informed about the latest and most captivating advancements in the dark web. Without delay, let's dive right in. Interpol arrests 14 in $40 million cybercrime crackdown. Interpol's Africa Cyber Search 2 operation apprehended 14 suspected cyber criminals responsible for a $40 million theft. Initiated in 2023 across 25 African countries, the operation disrupted 20,000 cybercrime networks engaged in extortion, phishing, scams, and online fraud. Key achievements include identifying 3,786 malicious servers, 14,000 victim IPs tied to data theft, unearthing 1,415 phishing domains, exposing 939 scam IPs, and detecting 400 harmful URLs and botnets. Interpol's recent actions against cybercrime encompass closing the 16 shop phishing platform and arresting its operator and detaining a key operator group member for 35 attacks causing over $11 million in damages. Last year's Africa cyber surge led to 11 arrests, darknet market shutdowns, and disruption of 200,000 malicious infrastructure points. The numbers are absolutely huge. Analyst admits leaking EncroChat info to suspect. Intelligence analyst Natalie Mottram, 24 of the Northwest Regional Organized Crime Unit, has confessed to leaking sensitive information regarding Operation Venetic, an investigation stemming from the hacking of EncroChat. This breach of trust led to the arrest of a suspect, Jonathan Kay, who was alerted about the operation by Mottram. The breach was discovered when an EncroChat user referenced a police contact contract exposing the leak. Recall that EncroChat was often used to trade drugs, weapons, and other illegal activities. In response, authorities monitored Matram and witnessed her visiting Kay's residence. Subsequently, both were arrested and 200,000 euros were seized from Kay's home. Investigations revealed that Matram had engaged in the operation at Kay's home on multiple occasions. Sentencing for both is set for November 3rd of 2023 after they compromised an extended extensive investigation due to Matram's actions. Here's how such a serious operation can go awry. Cyber bunker appeal, verdict imminent. The discussed NATO bunker in Germany served as a hosting hub for illicit online activities, including data theft and illegal substances. After six years, authorities arrested the suspects in 2019, concluding an extensive probe. Notorious dark web markets like Cannabis Road and Wall Street Market were found to use cyber bunker services. The defendants faced charges of belonging to a criminal gang and enabling over 250,000 unlawful transactions. Both prosecutors and defendants appealed. Defendants denied guilt, asserting their role as hosting providers absolved them from content liability. The defense argued they were employees obeying orders. A verdict expected on September 12, 2023 will mark a critical point in this prolonged legal battle. Dark web forums, disruptions, and phishing scams. Dark web users face ongoing turmoil as major forums encounter disruptions and hackers exploit the chaos. Dread, a prominent dark web forum, has been plagued by intermittent outages and DDoS attacks in 2023. Now, despite mirror links, users struggle to access the platform, leading to speculations about potential DDoS hacks or international shutdowns by moderators. Reddit users expressed concerns about the escalating DDoS attacks on various high-profile dark web sites, including Majestic Gardens, Hub, and Dread. The increasing influence of DDoS attacks highlights the need for Tor to develop countermeasures. Presently, the official Dread link displays an onion site not found message, leaving users in limbo and hoping for the moderators to resolve these issues. Since viable alternatives are scarce, the dark web community eagerly awaits the forum's revival. Exploiting the disruption caused by DDoS attacks, hackers have capitalized on the chaos to spread phishing links related to the Bohemia market, the largest dark web market. Unsuspecting users were scammed by fraudulent Reddit and Dread posts directing them to counterfeit Bohemia links. A warning advises users to avoid using Reddit Bohemia market links, urging reliance on trustworthy sources like Dark, Fail, 4.taxi or uh, market's official dread links. This cautionary tale underscores the vulnerability of the dark web to disruptions and scams 
urging users to exercise vigilance in navigating its intricate landscape. This is how the dark net is attacking itself. It's quite unexpected that well-known dark web forums lack the necessary protection, and it's surprising that users who should be more advanced in security and anonymity fail for phishing. With that shocking news for the hackers world, we conclude our weekly digest. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and also visit deeplab.com to stay updated on the latest darknet news. This was Deep Lab Weekly. See you soon.